If you've ever typed in a website address and been taken to a completely different one, you've witnessed the magic of a domain redirect in action. So in today's video, we'll be talking all about domain redirects and how you can use them to your advantage to help protect and grow your presence online. And all of that without losing any SEO value. And you can set up a redirect to protect your website from promotions, even for creating your own personal brand as well. And we'll also show you exactly how easy it is to set up a domain redirect from within your hosting or dashboard with just a few simple clicks. So let's get into it. So basically at its core, a domain redirect is basically like you're setting up mail forwarding after you move home. So when someone sends mail to your old address, the post office will automatically redirect the mail to your new address. So you still receive the mail and there's no confusion or delay on the part of the sender. So a domain redirect does the exact same thing for your website. And even if someone types in the old or incorrect address, they automatically land on your new one. So that means no broken links, no confused visitors, and traffic stays up. And search engines love a proper redirect because it tells them exactly where your content lives and where to send those SEO numbers if an old address has been abandoned. But why would you want to set up a website redirect? Why not just create a new site and leave the old one in the dust? So let's take a look at a few reasons why you might want to redirect your domain. And if you just want to jump straight into things and skip the chatter, you can jump ahead to this part in the video and see just how easy it is to redirect a domain with Hostinger. So reason number one why you would want to redirect a domain is brand protection. And this is a big one, guys, and one of the main drivers behind domain forwarding as well. So whether your brand is old or new, you want to protect the content that you're creating. And at first, this means pointing customers to the correct page, and later on, this might mean avoiding confusion and competition. And one way you can do this is by securing URLs that might be confused for your own. So let's just say, for example, your business is called Blue Sky Marketing and you've purchased the domain www.blueskymarketing.com. Now, inevitably, someone will accidentally type Blue Sky with two S's or maybe add a hyphen between Blue Sky and marketing. Or I mean, they might just get the extension wrong and type in .co or .net instead. Now, each of these mistakes or misunderstandings is directing traffic somewhere else on the internet. And by purchasing similar domains and redirecting them to your main site, you prevent competitors or domain squatters, as I say, from using them to steal your traffic. So protecting your brand's reputation and ensuring that anyone who is trying to find you can, even if they make a mistake, is really important. Now, reason number two is brand revamps and merges. I mean, listen, name changes happen all the time, both in business and in your personal life. And you might rebrand your business or merge with another or move altogether into a new market. So having a domain redirect set up helps navigate these transitions without losing years of hard earned SEO value. So by setting up a domain redirect, you can automatically and very instantly redirect traffic to your new brand directly from the old URL that might still be in someone's bookmarks or in someone's folder. So I mean, let's say for example, you have a photography business called Golden Hour Photography and you are merging with a videographer that goes by Cinematic Vision. You do this to, for example, share resources and expand your clientele or your vision altogether. And you've decided on the name Golden Vision Studios and you want to merge your websites together. So I mean, just think about it. Each of your clients will inevitably have your websites bookmarked and you already have flyers printed from your previous sessions with your old website name on them. Now you don't want all of your search traffic to end up on an outdated page or even worse, a 404 error. So instead you can set up a domain redirect from the two old businesses to the newest URL, Golden Vision Studios, without having to compromise or lose out on clients. And now boom, in an instant, you've created a new brand without having to compromise the success of the old. And redirects are also really great if you have a localized domain extension like .lt or co.uk, something like that. By default, most people type in .com or .net, but localized domains are getting way more popular now. 
And if you want to capture traffic that might not know your specific extension, purchasing the more generic .com and pointing it to the localized site is a really great way to go. Now reason number three guys is temporary redirects for promotions or testing. And this next reason is really cool and it's kind of like a cheat code for directing traffic where you want it exactly to go. And did you know by the way that not every domain redirection has to be permanent? Like let's take a quick technical detour so I can explain how this works. So basically, when you're ready to get your domain redirect set up, you'll see two options, a 301 or a 302 redirect. But what do these options actually mean and which one should you actually choose? Well, a 301 redirect is permanent and passes along the SEO values from your original site. And you would want to go with this option when you're changing up or branding out or consolidating or fixing old links or general domain name changes. Now a 302 redirect is temporary and does not carry over SEO values or authority from your original site. And you want to go with this option if you need to maintain the original website but you just want to temporarily direct customers to a new site. So basically if a 301 redirect is like telling the past office you have a new address, a 302 redirect is like telling the post office to hold to your mail while you go on vacation. And as soon as you delete the 302 redirect, everything just goes back to normal. So using a 302 redirect to your advantage can create some really unique temporary campaigns for your site. And also it really can help you measure SEO and traffic data without conflicting with your main brand. And this is a really, really great tactic to use for promotions or also seasonal businesses, or if you want to run a few A-B tests on your new website. And it's also a really great way to keep your website active while you're performing web maintenance. I mean, just redirect to a landing page and keep working behind the scenes. And once you don't actually need the redirect anymore, just delete it and everything goes back to the way it was before. Okay, reason number four is personal branding and social media. So what if you don't have an established presence online, let's say, but you still want to secure a domain while you build that authority? Well, the secret here is that you don't actually need a website. You just need the domain. And if you want to make it easy for clients to find you on social media, you can set up a domain redirect so that it sends users to your, I mean, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube channel, whatever, even LinkedIn. And this is a really perfect way to consolidate your online identity and centralize your brand when you're just starting out and it doesn't require a website right away which is really really great all right well now that you understand what you're working with let's start with the easiest method to redirect a domain so basically, if your domain is connected to Hostinger, we've made this process very simple and very user friendly. Simply just log into your HPanel and navigate to the domains dashboard. Then click on the domain name and under the tools heading, you'll see an option to redirect your domain. And from there, you can create a redirect to another domain name or to a social media platform, which can be handy for things like, I mean, event promotions or other things I spoke about before. For. And make sure to enter the source URL and the destination and also select the redirect type. Now from here, just hit on create and that's it, you're basically done. It's literally that simple. Now the redirect will start working within minutes and if you changed your mind or just realized you made a typo, you can add it the domain redirection from the very same page. And it's literally that easy. So if you're a beginner or you have a very simple redirection, it's the perfect option to get the job done very quickly. Now if your domain is hosted somewhere else, don't worry about that. Other registrars typically have similar options since we're all trying to make the web more accessible for everyone. Just make sure to look for options called forwarding or redirect in your domain setting. And you'll always need to set up a source and a destination and also select the redirect type. But I mean, getting there may be a little bit different depends on what registrar you use. 
After setting up your redirect, it's important to make sure it's actually working, which is very easy to do, by the way. Just open a new browser window and go to your website. If you're seeing the new page, then you know the redirect is working and complete. If you don't, well, then it's time to do some troubleshooting. Now, if you wanna go into advanced mode and check the status quotes, you can use tools like HTTP status.io or redirect checker. Now, these will tell you right away if if everything is good to go or if it's time to do some more troubleshooting. And always remember guys, patience is key here. Sometimes these changes take a few minutes to propagate, so if it's not working, step away from the screen, grab a coffee and clear your cache. And you can also monitor the URL redirect with Google Search Console's change of address tool. All you have to do is just enter your old and new domains and use the tool to tell Google you've moved. And Google will know to transfer your rankings and you can keep an eye on the coverage report for any potential issues. And trust me guys, I know that redirecting a domain sounds way more complicated than it actually is. And with Hostinger, you can get it done in literally just a few clicks as I just showed you, no matter the reason. So if this video has saved you from at least one redirect headache, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out our guide to purchasing a domain with Hostinger. And also, if you're a digital marketer or you're just interested in how SEO is evolving, check out our Ask an Expert video all about GEO and the evolution of online searches. Now, we're always posting new videos about exciting developments in digital marketing, so make sure you hit that subscribe subscribe button and stay up to date. Now, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.